the SNES Classic. Got this for 80 bucks at Walmart. Get back to my Super Nintendo roots. Let's review this bad boy. Review Donkey Kong Country or Zelda or Super Mario World or Super Me- The fuck is my SNES Classic? Since this asshole is too preoccupied with his self-deprecating tendencies to give me my own episode, I decided to take it upon myself to make one. So here goes nothing. Hey, so God Control Spec has apparently moved on to Xbox, so I doubt he'll even recognize that this is gone. It's mine now. It's my turn. Mm. Fuck you, Gabby J. Mm. I hate this game. Gabby J! Fuck you. Mm. Yay! <laughs> 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 Alright, what'll it be today? Maybe some Contra. Or Castlevania. Mm, maybe Super Mario World. Feeling like a, a bit of a classic feel today. Although it's been about three days since I've gotten a call from Ganj. I mean, I don't really. I don't know if this is going to be going all that well. No, no, we're not, we're not doing this. Uh, he can wait. Yeah, he can wait. God damn it. What was I? Yeah, Super Mario Kart. We're going to be playing that right now. <laughs> God damn it, son of a bitch. It's just a game. It's just a game. Can't take out my real life aggression on a fucking video game. Of course they're gonna pin of course they're gonna pin the male against the female. Isn't that always the case? You know what? There's a common misconception about men calling women crazy. We're not crazy. We're just fucking real. We're not afraid to get real either, and we don't care if it's not nice. It just is. Is there a distinction between the fear that inhibits me and the fear that keeps me alive? Desire is a charge, not something to fulfill. And baby, my energy is electric. I often consider that human saliva contains a painkiller called opiorphin that is six times more powerful than morphine. But at the same time, I'm trying to consciously study the practice of tenderness until it becomes a matter of course. Escaping boredom is the task of a lifetime. I acknowledge this, and I get a charge out of the moment. But letting go takes practice, I recognize that as well. The temptation to indulge my inner martyr is high, but I can't break the pattern of useful action without examining why I carried it out. Ugh, I need to tone down my rational tendencies before I turn cynical. All I know for sure is that false optimism sooner or later means disillusionment, anger, and hopelessness. I've been there and done that. I combat this by being assertive, bold, and fearless. From the day I was born, I've been taught to smile, appease, and adapt to expectations. No wonder I've lost touch with myself so many times. Acting on my defiant stubbornness isn't helping right now, so I should keep watch over the tendency toward an idea of static rebellion. But I'm only human. <laughs>